I'm saying this with a good amount of certainty, guys. The Buffalo Sabres are going to be successful next season. And this is all stemming, of course, from the trade that happened earlier today, which sent Pittsburgh Penguins players Connor Sherry and Matt Hunwick over to the Sabres in exchange for a fourth-round pick. However, there are some conditions on that fourth. If Hunwick gets traded before the 2019 draft, and or if Connor Sherry grabs himself 20 goals and 40 points, that fourth-round pick becomes a third-round pick. So overall, the Penguins basically got themselves a pick for Hunwick and Sherry. This is good for them. They've freed up like five-something million dollars in cap space, and that's all good and fun. But everyone here is thinking about Connor Sherry and his impact with the Buffalo Sabres. And it is this trade which leads me to believing even further the potential success that the Buffalo Sabres are going to accomplish next season. Next season, you got yourselves Connor Sherry, who very well is capable of getting 20 goals and 40 points, just depending on the center he plays with. Some could argue that he is totally independent, and he doesn't need Crosby to put up those points, but we'll see next season. Obviously, he is a talented player, and playing alongside a guy like Jack Eichel wouldn't necessarily be all too bad for him. But it's not even just Connor Sherry. The Buffalo Sabres got so many other great pieces coming on to their team. In particular, Rasmus Dahlin. And I don't even need to say anything else. You already know what that means and the potential impact Rasmus Dahlin has on an NHL club going forward. And it's not even just Rasmus Dahlin because Casey Middlestad is going to be a full-time NHLer next season, too. So, man, the Buffalo Sabres grabbed themselves two A1 top chip prospects, and they grabbed themselves a potential 20-goal scorer to play alongside of Jack Eichel. If I were Ryan O'Reilly, I'd really want to not be traded right now because things are looking great for the city of Buffalo. And this is the first time that I'm truly jumping on this bandwagon. We've seen it in the past. Oh, Reinhardt's coming to Buffalo. That's going to be great. Alex Nylander's coming to Buffalo. That's going to be great. They're going to be great next year. Same thing with Jack Eichel, and they've found themselves ways to keep on staying in the dust, but now, with the number one defender in Rasmus Dahlin, a number one potential center in Casey Middlestad, who, let's face it, he's not going to be a number one center playing with Jack Eichel on his team, and a potential 40-point player in Connor Sherry, this trade just increased Buffalo's chances of making the playoffs quite a bit. And you could call me out for that, you could say that I'm crazy or whatever, but all these talented players are coming over to the Sabres. I didn't even mention Alexander Nylander stepping into the lineup full-time either. And honestly, this is just for next season. The Buffalo Sabres got a lot of other great prospects who are going to find themselves ways on the team in the future. Matthias Samuelson, Uko Pekalukinen, these guys are all going to be great, but they got a little bit of time ahead of them before they step into the NHL. But as for right now, things look really good with that Connor Sherry Matt Hunwick trade. All it took was a third round pick. The Penguins, they freed up that cap space that they needed, and the Buffalo Sabres get themselves another good piece for their forward core next season. I believe it's so. I think the Buffalo Sabres are going to find success. And I'm looking forward to seeing the results out there on the ice. Connor Sherry, Middlestad, and Darlene meshing with a great core of Reinhardt, Eichel, O'Reilly, Ristolainen. This team is in for some great things next season, and I'm really looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, like that was just like that's saying gaming, and bye.